Unveiled in the year 2017, the Tesla Semi is described as a Class 8 all-electric battery-powered semi-truck which has been planned for production this year by none other than Tesla Incorporated. It is already on the road to being the company's biggest step yet towards its main goal of making the world run on sustainable energy for years to come. On paper, a fully electricity-powered truck sounds like an amazing idea, but the real question is if it really is feasible and economically better. Will these electricity power trucks be able to compete with the traditional diesel power trucks and prove the critics wrong? Is it really the future of trucks? Well, watch further and we'll provide some insight on how those trucks are going to work and try to answer some of those questions. Some of Tesla's critics seem to have several issues with the practicality of this truck, Bill Gates being one of these critics. Weights one of the biggest issues with the trucks that the critics have pointed out is the overall weight of the Tesla Semi. Bill Gates says that these trucks just wouldn't really work and expressed concerns over the weight of the batteries that will be used to power this truck and how the added weight of the batteries will put the Semi at a disadvantage compared to the typical diesel truck. The federal government requires trucks to weigh a certain amount with cargo so having more weight left over for cargo would be ideal in most cases. While it is true that electric trucks are heavier than a typical semi-truck, and that means that the payload that this truck is able to carry could potentially be less than that of its competitors. But what if I told you that this isn't the case for the Tesla Semi? It's good to keep in mind that the unveiled trucks from 2017 were just prototypes and that the finalized product will be quite different with several improvements and tweaks here and there. With the initial unveiling, Tesla didn't really mention the weight of the vehicle, but maybe the reason for that was that weight wasn't really a concern to begin with. Most of the estimations made about the weight were based on the battery packs that existed back in 2017, and the estimations of the battery weight came out to be 6,667 kilos, or approximately 14,000 to 15,000 pounds. These are the weights that you would expect if Tesla used its old battery packs. And, as promised, Tesla provided solutions to this problem with its ever-improving batteries. In a recent interview, Elon said that the Semi comes with the new 4680 battery packs, which will power the four independent motors, which will provide the truck with amazing acceleration and range while consuming lesser energy leading to lower energy costs. This means over 50% more efficiency than their existing battery packs. The 50% efficiency also means that the batteries will weigh 50% less than the original ones. On top of that, Tesla's electric motors weigh about 70 pounds so having four of them amounts to only 280 pounds. Compare that to the traditional diesel-powered semi-trucks that use gigantic engines to move around. These engines themselves weigh over 3,000 pounds, and that's excluding the additional 1,000 pounds of diesel fuel required to run these transports. So this easily solves and also provides an edge to the Tesla Semi when put up against ordinary semi-trucks. The current updates already prove this, and the specs that were unveiled back in 2017 will very well be beaten when the final product is ready to hit the roads. Costs and Profits Your average diesel truck would consume fuel worth about $1.51 per mile, while the Tesla Semi costs $1.26 per mile in fuel costs since electricity is much cheaper than diesel. This difference may not seem like much, but when considering that the average truck travels over 50,000 miles per year, we can expect $12,500 in savings so in the long run, these trucks will return massive profits to the companies. The maintenance costs are another factor to consider when comparing the Tesla semi-trucks to their diesel-powered competitors. With over 50% reduced maintenance costs combined with the low fuel consumption, these trucks will be returning what was spent on them with a payback period of two years. The companies that are looking to invest in the Tesla semi-trucks? The maximum cargo that a truck can carry doesn't matter to them, as much as the total cost of carrying said cargo does. So, the lower fuel costs with the electric-powered batteries gives the semi-trucks an edge over diesel-powered trucks. So even if the semi-trucks cost more initially, they will prove to save a lot more money in the long run with the low-cost energy consumption. Therefore, for companies looking for a maximum profit, the Tesla Semi will be the obvious choice because the benefits overshadow the $180,000 price tag easily. On the website alone, it says that the trucks will save $200,000 plus in fuel costs. Does that not sound like an attractive offer? Recharging Now, 
Another issue that the critics bring up is the recharging time of the semi compared to the refueling time of a diesel truck. It is true that refueling a diesel tank is much faster than recharging an electric truck, but in my opinion, that really isn't that big of an issue. To put it into perspective, in the US, 80% of all trucking routes are about 500 miles long. This is a fact that Elon himself emphasized upon in the initial unveiling back in 2017. So the fast charging capability that the Semi has will keep it on the same level if not higher as other EVs because the Tesla Semi will be able to recover its full 500 mile range in nothing more than a half hour recharge. This paired with the 2 kilowatt hour power consumption is pretty impressive and with these numbers, the Tesla Semi should be able to counter any criticisms related to battery power. Design and Performance Elon Musk claims that the trucks are now closer to a 600-mile range than the initial 400-mile range of the prototypes, so we can clearly expect more improvements with time as the production models start coming out. This relates back to when I said that the final product will have vastly improved specs compared to the specs presented at the unveiling. On the website, the Tesla Semi is described as the safest and most comfortable truck ever. So we further looked into the design specs and those claims seem very plausible here. The driver's seat has been moved from the left side to center, giving the driver more visibility and control. The Tesla Semi also features enhanced autopilot sensors that will avoid collisions like the plague, but the drivers are still responsible for staying alert during autopilot mode so they can take action anytime. The design of the truck also offers rollover protection with the low center of gravity providing much smoother turnings. The Tesla Semi comes with four independent motors that are powered by the battery cells. These motors are a crucial part of the design and they will allow for instant traction control and smoother driving overall. Tesla has designed the trucks to be more aerodynamic than a supercar, which means faster and safer acceleration. The electric powertrain allows smoother acceleration capable of achieving 60 miles per hour in no more than 20 seconds, even when the truck is at maximum capacity. Sure, this doesn't seem like a big deal, but for people who have had to share roads with trucks, they know how painful it is to have to drag their car behind a slowly accelerating truck. So, with that in mind, the extra accelerating speed is like a breath of fresh air for all drivers. Not to mention, this would fix a lot of traffic-related problems that are caused by big trucks and considerably reduce the noise pollution as well since the electricity-powered batteries are much quieter compared to the diesel-fueled engines. What a relief! The Tesla Semi seems pretty promising despite the skepticism that it has attracted since its announcement. Now all we're waiting for is to see the production models on the road at their full potentials. Several big-name companies have already placed orders for the Tesla Semi because they see the potential it has, the profits that they will achieve, and it just so happens that Tesla provides the environmentally friendly option with an added bonus of savings and profits.